want you out of here. You want to get a lot of money? $3,000 and all I got to do is marry her. Well, you, you got to go to Serbia. Country in transition. And why there? Because she doesn't have the U.S. visa. If I leave states, I cannot get back here. Dude, isn't there like a war going on in no. Serbia? Film here and there is um, almost five years in the making. Somewhat uh, the base for the story is my own experience as a man with a van in New York City doing that for four years, four or five years while studying film at City College. Always knew that that's a good base for a story, for New York story, where you connect different people, different uh, destinies of uh, immigrants and uh, native New Yorkers or happy New Yorkers, unhappy New Yorkers. And um, uh, so that was a base and of course the rest was a, a fiction. So the story is uh, uh, Robert, played by David Thornton, is a disillusioned middle-aged New Yorker who gets catapulted to, to Balkans, to Belgrade, Serbia, to earn some fast cash by marrying somebody for U.S. immigration papers. Uh, but uh, he finds something else there. So it's uh, somebody characterized it as a deadpan romantic comedy, which I like the term. But it's just it's it's a story about struggling to do something and, that you want for Robert and for for, for Bonnet's characters as well. And uh, in some ways, uh, you know, when you're, 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 everybody is kind of an immigrant, whether you're like str a struggling actor. You know? <laughs> You know, trying to to get your foot in the door, or a struggling filmmaker, or a struggling journalist, or a struggling you know architect, or just someone who's struggling to get in, into the country. Um, they're different, you know, and I'm not sure you can compare the two, but they're, they're, there's there, there's a, there's a thread of emotional, I think, uh, uh, connectability there. Can we still get married now? And we will pay you in New York. Well, I just want to say something about the, my feeling about being at Tribeca because I think it's a great spot to be for here and there because it's a New York story and for me personally Tribeca has great significance as a festival and uh, I always wanted uh, to have here and there premiere here as being a former New Yorker, somewhat New Yorker and knowing what Tribeca Festival kind of stands for. And it's, a, I mean, it, we got so far really, it proved to be a, a perfect place. We had a sold out, I wish we had a much bigger venue. We had a sold out, uh, like right away sold out, uh, uh, all the screenings and the premiere. Like David said, we had the people on Craigslist for days trying to get tickets and uh, like uh, huge lines and uh, tremendous response from the audience. For a country that's had a spotlight on its country for, for, for other reasons, you know, this tremendous amount of pride. There were 4,000 people at our screening in Belgrade. It was totally sold out. You couldn't get a ticket. We could have sold so many more, but there were 4,000 people. This was such, you know, a, a proud event. And it was, and it was, it was a, it was an, it was an event that was, you know, different from. It was, it was, it wasn't the spotlight of the war. It wasn't a spotlight of the politics. It was, it was a spotlight on an, an artist who was making a story that resonates for so many different people in a different way, which was a different kind of spotlight. And I think there was a, a, a real appreciation, a, a real letting exhaling of like on maybe we can move on in a different way maybe we can give attention to other kinds of Serbian uh, men and women who are doing different things that are really doing positive things that are contributing in a way maybe that we can generate other people being interested to say well wow how would how are artists looking at, at, at their country in different ways that filmmakers are looking at the American experience or, or the you know African experience or something. So there was great, great exhilaration about Darko's film getting getting accepted here. I mean it, and and uh, you know it's good for Tribeca to know that too because I mean sometimes we live in our own little fish bubble. Um, uh, so uh, that people should know that. They're they're really, really proud of uh, being part of the festival.